Hello everyone, welcome back to Fujisan Jr. Today I wanted to talk about something different from what I usually talk about. It's on how you can become an author. And there are multiple steps to become an author, and I just wanted to talk about those. So if you guys want to learn more about this, please like and subscribe, and let's get going. Quick thing, before I start, some people might be like, oh, this is straightforward. But some authors forget that these straightforward things are the things that will make them a better author. So if you are interested to keep on listening, make sure you listen. And please give me uh, feedback. You can be critical as well. But honestly, I'm just giving my personal perspective and who I am as an author as well. So if you don't think my video is going to be helpful, then please just leave. And that is totally fine with me. So like it please continue to listen to how you can become an author I say author you can become an ebook author or a normal physical book copy author whatever you want to do but I just wanted to give a tip on how you can potentially become an author you don't have to be able to sell stuff but it can just be for fun as well so let's get going so the first one is just coming up with general ideas maybe just think about things that happen in your daily life maybe just start writing that in a journal or a notebook and just start gathering ideas that could be in your story. Or you could also just get information from other books and try to come up with your own creative idea. There are many ways that you can gather ideas and that is the start of your whole author journey. You wanna brainstorm those ideas that you collect and try to narrow it down to a couple and then try to figure out what, what, which one will target the audience the most and which one you'll enjoy writing the most. Remember, you are the author and you want to make sure that you enjoy writing this story. So make sure that you pick a topic or come up with ideas that would suit your writing. Once you come up with those multiple ideas that you have or you pick a topic, start writing down things that you want to talk about. Remember, these books can be something like nonfiction, fiction. You can choose the genre as well, depending on the idea that you have. It doesn't have to be too long like a big chapter book like Harry Potter. And it can be short if you want to. It can be long, whatever you want to do. But start making chapters, start brainstorming the different parts of the book that you're going to be writing about. Remember, it is your topic and something that interests you. So if you need something that will take a longer time, take that time. Authors don't rush. Usually they take their time and figuring out what topics or ideas that they can write about and take multiple years or months in order to publish their book. So take your time and come up with a plan and then start brainstorming different ideas for each chapter that you're gonna have. Next, depending on the type of book, if you're using a picture book, make sure that you have someone that can illustrate your own drawing. If not, if you can do it on your own, that'll be much easier. But if you have picture books, maybe you can start talking with the uh, editor or the illustrator and figuring out how the story can flow. Multiple ideas and multiple perspectives help you gather more ideas and come up with creative ways in writing your story. If it's a chapter book, jot down notes, look at other books to get some inspirations, write it down, and have other people just read it and just get other ideas and perspectives. Because I know that it's your own book and you want to become the author, but having other people's perspective help you become a better author. For ebooks as well, but even with normal writing as well as a normal author, you can use online resources as well. ChatGPT, for example, is a great way to start with gathering ideas. Remember, you don't want to copy word for word, but you can try to reword that and make it into your own word. All these online resources can help you to further write your story and make things happen. And obviously, use your creativity as well and your ideas because you are the author. And I know I'm talking about like straightforward stuff, but it is important that you get these ideas and use these tools and resources to your advantage so that you can continue writing your story. If you're handwriting it, good for you. I didn't do that, but that could be another way for you to be able to write down. Some people love to write down their stories and get their ideas out. And if it works for them, go for it. Because at the end of the day, authors are authors. They are writers. They can physically write. They can type. Anything works for them. So keep it up for those that are writing and use online resources as well to your advantage. Finish like your first draft with writing all your sentences and all your pages. Have someone check it. Or make sure you reread it first before you have someone else read it because books don't come easily or they're not easily published. You need to take multiple drafts in order to publish one great book. 
even if it's like a short children's book or picture book, multiple authors and all these authors will take multiple drafts and multiple revisions in order to make their uh, piece. So don't rush, take your time to edit, rephrase, rewrite, whatever works and take multiple drafts. It's not a critic criticize if someone tells you, oh, you need to work on this. They're just suggesting that and make sure you use that suggestion. If you don't want to, you don't have to. It is your book. But make sure that editing process come in play and you have multiple drafts because you don't want to mess up your first published book as an author. Some online tools that you can use is like Grammarly, for example. I know it's not accurate, but that can also help you during the revision process. You can also ask consultants that review people's work and give you feedback. There are multiple ways in order for you to have your draft checked. And like I said in the previous one, make sure you have people check your draft. And it is not a sh shameful thing to have multiple drafts. It's important as authors to have these drafts. Your final draft is going to be pitch perfect and you are going to thank yourself and others because and you are going to think and feel that it wasn't a waste of time because this last published book or your final draft I meant is going to be the one that is going to be published. So take your time. Do not rush. When it comes to publishing, depending on what type of book you have, such as an ebook or a physical book, there are going to be different options. I published my first book as an ebook on Amazon Kindle. Pretty straightforward. There are many resources online that you can use in order to publish your ebook. It's a pretty straightforward uh, process. You just have to get your Word doc or your Google Drive, whatever, and convert that into an EPUB file. If you want a e uh, physical book, you have to find a place where they can actually create your book. So make sure that you contact these places, figure out the pricing, and find the one that you trust the most. Because some places might take, charge you more, and other places might charge you less, but have a bit, uh, terrible quality. So make sure you talk with these people, when you're, especially when you're going to publish your physical books. So that you can have like a nice cover book that can be appealing for all of these customers. Yeah, that's pretty much it in becoming an author. Honestly, the longest process is going to be like coming up with ideas and actually writing your drafts for your chapters. But honestly, that's just how it works as authors. And the, the famous authors and stuff, they take multiple years to come up with one book. Some, some authors are different. They can come up with books every year. Others might take five, six years depending on who you are as a writer and who you are as a who you are as an author. So, don't rush. Come up with your ideas that is going to engage you. I'm not a huge writer, not going to lie, but there was just one day that sparked me with all these ideas that I just had to write down and I started writing those. So, depending on who you are, maybe that might be the case for you as well. But like I said, if you want to become an author, follow these tips. And I hope you guys can become a successful author as well. So if you liked it, please like and subscribe. And peace out.